They are not being killed because of their flesh. It is only because of their ivory. The ivory is being exported out of the country to Far East and to most of our Asian countries. It is a sad that uh, fortune is still going on, whereby it is being perfected by man, whereby as human beings it is our role to try and uh, help these elephants and all the other wild animals. But instead of that, we have gone against them. We are killing them because we are just interested in their ivory, which is so sad. The ivory or anything that comes out of ivory and rhino horn will not change your life. We have to, pay, to play our role by protecting, defending these animals. Let's not get lured into buying those ornament, ornaments which are made out of ivory. And to those of you who believe that out of rhino horn, there is some medicine. I want to challenge you and tell you there is no any medicine out of the rhino horn. If you would believe or get any medicine out of the rhino horn, then as well, out of our fingernails, we can get medicine because it's all made of the same, same thing. So let's uh, unite all of us. Say no to anything, any product that will come out of rhino horn and uh, ivory. If we say all no to this, then we will be giving these animals a second chance of survival. But the more we continue buying these things, the more we continue and encouraging a poaching, which is so sad. The no, second reason that. to why these elephants no, are here, that's some of them, they were found falling down with the well, which is a natural reason. Some of them, their mothers have died from diseases in the world. We have starvation, which is part of nature. But I say it is at a very low percentage. We have got those who have come in because their families who are involved in fighting those communities who are living along our national parks and came reserves. As human beings, we should learn on how to live with these animals in peace because actually we are in shooters. We have an approach onto the world. The world land was meant for the world animals. But because of mass population in the Hunting Corner, we have an, an approach onto this land. We have closed up their corridors. Whenever they try to migrate from one area to the other, they will always encounter our farm, our home. Found in even in these areas, most likely the younger ones who will fall victim in the hands of man. Some of them are <laughs> being killed. Some of them being left wounded because they are family, they are part will be running away from human beings. <laughs> yeah. And to these, the younger ones will lose the trace of their family falling into the hands of human beings. That's well, man, we have to recollect our thinking and then try to find a solution, a way of living in these animals instead of fighting them, them just because of what they So those are the main three reasons that has caused these elephants to lose their wild families out there. Wow. We give them a second chance in the natural area where they will remain under the care of the four and seven under the care of their people. The men that you think threats have been fit for, they will play the role of their mother. They have lost their lost family because of this. We have to spend all our time with the elephants always live in families. And being that they live in families, they keep us having replaced the lost families. We have to be with them all the time. As you came in, I think you have seen those wooden houses, which are their tents where they do spend the night. Each elephant has a room where he or she spends the night beside a different keeper on every evening. We are working among them all, avoiding them from being attached to one individual. If you only decide to work with one elephant, then it means that you will be forced to be dedicated to this elephant for two or eight years, which is very impossible. We also have our own human partners that we also have to take care of. So we share the time we have in between our own families and the elephant family.
Inside those the rooms, they have got their little mattresses, they have a blanket, in a manner that when they go down to sleep, we have to make sure that they're well covered with these blankets to keep them warm. If we will leave them in open in the cold, then we risk losing them through pneumonia, which is a very complicated disease to treat in elbow. Once one has been caught up with the pneumonia, it becomes challenging because you can't tell in advance so that you can uh, begin the treatment. Until the last minute, when you see some water dropping out of the trunk, and when these begin, they don't last for long. So within a very short uh, time, you will lose that elephant. You will want to know how does this apply when they're back into the wild. In the wild, they do not have got these, these shelters. Neither the planet. Nobody has said that they live in family. The older ones will make sure that uh, the younger ones are kept among them all. And since the mature elephant will sleep while standing, so all the cows will be lying among the older ones to be protected from cold. And also, their mother's milk is so rich that uh, it will help or prevent them from catching up some of these diseases. While with us in the nursery, we cannot provide for them the real elephant milk. There is no any human who can dare risk his or life by going back into the wild to get the real elephant milk. And also, the elephant or the cow elephant does not reproduce enough milk for more than one baby. So the milk they have is meant for their own baby. So being that uh, we cannot as well feed them on cow's milk or any other um, animal's milk, because if you will feed them on any milk containing fat in it, automatically they will die to death. They have a very poor fat digestion system. If you keep just a glass of this uh, cow's milk on an elephant the baby, automatically he will die. So that is why we can't use any other animal's milk. The milk that we are using it is a human baby formula called SMA Gold. The milk is manufactured in UK, meant for human baby consumption. We are feeding them at allowance of after every three hours, 24-7. So that is the other reason why they have to remain under the care of their keepers, because they will be being fed after every three hours. The other thing is that we are there to keep them company. If we will leave them on their own in their rooms as well, they will be stressed, and they can be stressed to, to death, like in humans. So they are used to their keepers, just like their mothers and fathers. So the 22 baby elephants, they all have got names. And their names, uh, they all have got meaning. If it is not something to do with their rescues, it is of the original places of rescue. They all recognize their names, and their response actually depends on their personalities. They have been born of different natural characters. It will always depend on whoever you are communicating to. I'll as well be giving their ages, and the ages that I'll be giving, not the exact age of the birth, because we were not out there when they were being born. We have just walked into their lives, and in detecting their ages, we look upon the physical features. Things like a medical cord, which will normally cut off after a month. They will start learning on how to feed on vegetation when they are in between the age of six to around eight months. And also at the age of eight months, the trunk, which is a very useful part of the body, will be uh, perfected at that uh, age. The other thing we will look upon it is that uh, the tusk will begin growing as from above a year old. But they will protrude out well at the age of two years old. Beneath their feet, there is also a set of skin that will normally peel off after three months. So those are the main things that we will uh, basically look on before we tell of their ages. In the nursery here, we will stay with them up to a minimum of like uh, three years, maximum is three and a half before we locate them in rehabilitation centers, which are based in the Savoy National Park. We will continue taking care of them up to a minimum of about five, six years, maximum of 10 years, before we see them